Hi, so so far in our past sections, we have just been passing dummy data from our controller to our view templates. Now we are ready to hook up some real database. We will be using InterFramework to query and update the database. And InterFramework, for any of you who doesn't know, uh, is the flexible object relational mapping data API that enables us to query and update data stored in a database in an object-oriented way. It also supports a development paradigm called Code First, which would allow us to create model objects by writing simple classes and can even create the database on the fly from our classes. We'll get more into the NT framework in another tutorial, but for this tutorial we're just going to use some basic features of it. Now, our items will, be also, will also be associated with a producer. So now let's add a simple model class to describe a producer. Uh, let's go ahead and model, right click, click add class. Let's put it here, producer, and then edit. Let's put a get and set now. Yeah, seems right. Right. Let's just save this. All right. So now we also need to do some changes to our uh, item classes. So let's go ahead. Some other. Let's just do this here. Add some other variables here. So public. A few moments later. Now that we have created our fields, we have like item ID, category ID, product ID, producer ID, and all of that. Let's just save this here. Uh, now, let's go ahead and do also some changes, changes in the category one. Now that we are done with our changes for category, I have added some category ID, name, and description, and a list of items. We changed the category into a partial class. Now, let's go ahead and go to our config, this config here. To, uh, to hook up our database. Now here, actually it's not this one. Yeah, I always miss this one. Yeah, it's this that one actually because we have two web config uh, in our project. So it's it's the as it's the one in the just in the last one. The last one is the the right one. So go now and here let's, instead of. Uh, in the connection string here, I'm going to put here like shopping store entities, and we will just go here. Okay. So now it's uh, going to be uh, SQL. Now that we have finished adding our uh, connection string here, so we made it like shop consortium is the F and made the uh, integrated security as T. Now that we have added our connection string here, Go ahead and um, add our context class. Our context class will represent the NT framework database uh, context. It will handle our uh, create and uh, read, update, delete operation for us. Let's go ahead and models add class. So let's go ahead and right here. Add it to be a shopping store entities. Yep, seems fine. Let's close this one. Yeah, 
all right now let's add some changes here So that's it for this section. In the next section, we're going to add some actual data to our database and show the user details for each uh, item. So see you in the next.